Hey guys, welcome back to Cherry Hill Farm. It is the last day of February and we are about to start covering our strawberries. So that means we're going to have to spray them. Uh, this covers like kind of a greenhouse and they allow bacteria to grow and if we're not careful um, we'll have gray mold all over our strawberries because it starts in the bloom. So when the bloom is still closed if that bloom gets infected with that bacteria called botrytis, it'll cause gray mold on the strawberries. And I'm sure you've all seen that when the uh, berries are in the store. You see one off to the side that's got like a little gray mold growing on it. That's what that's from. So uh, we're going to spray a little fungicide on these berries and get ready to uh, cover them up here in the coming weeks. Protect our blooms. You can see we've got some uh, thistles, which is going to be a problem I need to take care of, but uh, overall our strawberries are looking really good. We've got some uh, dead foliage on them. It's just cold damage where we had such a mild winter and then it turned off. We had a couple cold snaps, but um, overall our berries are looking really, really good. Um, for whatever reason, you can see these are the the Camarosa, and that's the ones we normally have a, more of a problem with. You can see it looks like they seem to have tolerated uh, the cold better than some of the other varieties around them. This is kind of a test area here. It's a little short strip of Camarosa, but um, overall the entire patch is looking really good, and uh, we've got four or five blooms per crown right now um, we got a little bit of cold weather coming up so we're gonna start trying to cover and uncover begin that cycle so the first thing I'm gonna do is calibrate my sprayer I put exactly 10 gallons of water in it and I'm gonna find a low gear and spray this water out up the side of the field and figure out exactly how much uh, water I'm putting out per pass and now I can calculate how much I'll be putting in the field. So just to recap, I had exactly 10 gallons of water. Now we've got exactly 5 gallons of water and uh, there are six blocks. My test run was half a block. That's what I can spray with this air blast sprayer, is a half a block at a time. So I sprayed five gallons on half a block. I got six blocks. That means I need 60 gallons. Well, it just so happens this is a 60 gallon tank. And this is our first time we sprayed these berries um, this year, so we're going to put two quarts of captan to the acre and we're going to put 14 ounces of switch to the acre and we're going to put a little bit of surfactant in there to make it stick really good it's supposed to rain in a couple days and uh, we want it to hang around
the wind wasn't blowing this wouldn't be too bad but the wind's blowing about 10 miles an hour and i'm having to work with it go back to the front of the patch and start again each pass so it's going to take me twice as long as it should but i've learned that if i wait and say well maybe the wind won't be blowing as bad tomorrow it'll probably be blowing five miles an hour faster so i've learned that you spray when it's time to spray unless conditions are just bad enough that you can't because if you keep putting things off they don't get done you have problems sprayed and actually ended up a really good coverage even with the wind you can see how the plastics looking a little gray this is where I started and uh, that kind of gives you a good indicator of how good a job you did spraying is looking at the plastic but uh, Hopefully they will be uh, protected for a while and um, be back with another video real soon because we're about to get very busy around here. But anyway, I uh, hope you enjoyed it. Hope you learned something. If uh, you like the channel, hit that subscribe button. I'd appreciate it. And I will see you next time. Thanks for watching.